Did you know that not only can you earn money from YouTube Shorts, but you can actually start to earn money from YouTube Shorts straight away, even with zero subscribers and a brand new platform. If you wanna learn about how you can earn money from YouTube Shorts, then stick with me, because this video is for you. Before we jump into it though, I do wanna let you know that this video is very kindly sponsored by HubSpot, more on them later. Also, I always forget to ask you guys this, but if you wouldn't mind just subscribing and liking and doing all that stuff to support my channel, I would massively, massively appreciate it. Okay, so to kick off, I wanna take a few seconds to talk about your YouTube Shorts content strategy. This is important because if you want to start earning money from your YouTube Shorts, you need to have a good idea of the type of content you're gonna be creating, sharing, and how often you're gonna be posting it, right? So, there are three main strategies that most YouTubers tend to choose between when it comes to their YouTube Shorts. The first is repurposing viral content. Now, spoiler alert, I'm not a fan of this strategy, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't tell you about it. Now, what this strategy involves is finding the most popular content on TikTok or on Instagram, specifically Instagram Reels, finding the most popular content, and then downloading it and re-uploading it to your YouTube platform. Now, I'm not a big fan of this strategy because you're essentially taking content from other creators and then monetizing off the back of it. So since I'm not a huge fan of this one, we're not gonna dwell on it, but that is a strategy that a lot of other YouTubers do use. Now, the second strategy might be one that is a little bit more up your street. And this strategy involves repurposing your existing content. So. If you're already active on Instagram, for example, with your reels, or maybe you're already active on TikTok, you may have a bunch of content that you can actually start uploading onto your YouTube channel as a short. Now, doing this strategy will allow you to jumpstart your YouTube channel and also hopefully start earning money from one of the three different ways I'm about to break down to you, but also it will allow you to do this with ease. Like it won't require you to start creating all this content from scratch. All it really requires you to do is to repurpose existing content. There's a few things to note when it comes to this strategy. You want to be paying attention to the content that you are repurposing and know that just because something was popular on TikTok doesn't mean it's going to be popular on YouTube. The best way for you to figure out what works best for your audience and your niche on YouTube versus your other platforms is trial and error. So start repurposing your favorite content, keep an eye on how it's performing and use your analytics to figure out what type of content is actually performing best for you over on YouTube. Another thing to keep in mind is you will need to make sure that any content you are downloading from an existing social media platform like Instagram or like TikTok, does not have a watermark on it. Now, if you're wondering what a watermark is, I'll put an example of one on the screen. It's basically when a social media platform stamps their logo on your content so that when you share it on another platform, everyone knows that it was originally created elsewhere. Now, social media companies love to do this. It's like, I find it quite petty. Like, I know it's a good business move, but I see it's like such a petty thing. You know, TikTok's like, yeah, you might have loads of reels on your platform, Instagram, but half of them have got my logo on it, you know? <laughs> well, regardless, of why platforms do it, it's important to know that they do do it. And in order for you to repurpose your content for your YouTube Shorts, you will need to use a tool to ensure that the watermark is not present. One that I would recommend is called Snaptic. I'll put a link to it in the description. So the third strategy that a lot of YouTubers will create when they're getting started with YouTube Shorts or when they're really starting to earn money from the YouTube Shorts is to create content specifically for YouTube. Now, this is not for the faint-hearted. It's obviously gonna require a lot of additional time. It's not as easy as just repurposing something that already exists. However, when you take the time out to research which shorts are doing well within your niche and then to actually come up with ideas that you think your audience will respond well to on YouTube and create a YouTube short specifically for the platform, you are massively increasing the chances of your content performing well because the content you're creating has been created specifically for YouTube shorts. Okay, before we jump into the different ways that you can monetize your YouTube shorts, I do want to talk to you about a free resource that is going to be incredibly useful to any YouTubers out there, whether you're new to YouTube or whether you've been on YouTube for a while. Now, this resource includes 18 YouTube templates for businesses. Now, these templates have a bunch of different resources, including image templates, roadmap templates, description templates, thumbnail templates, banner templates, like honestly, if you are a YouTuber or you are looking to become a YouTuber, these templates are gonna massively help you. You might be thinking, I don't know if I need these templates because I'm not sure if I need them for my channel. And if that's what you're thinking, let me just stop you right there and break this down for you. Now, one of the most important elements of your YouTube channel and also one of the most overlooked is your branding. So things like your channel banner, things like your thumbnails, these are all elements of your YouTube channel that are often overlooked, but hold so much importance when it comes to how successful your channel actually becomes. These are all primary opportunities for you to communicate to your audience who you are, what you're about, and also convince them that you are a channel worth subscribing to. So that's why your channel art, including your banner and your thumbnails are incredibly important. And that is where those templates are gonna come in super handy. In addition to that though, there are 
there are other elements of your YouTube channel that cannot be overlooked. For example, things like your description. I cannot tell you how many times I've worked with a YouTuber and I've looked at the descriptions of their YouTube videos and I'm like, hun, that is not cutting it. <laughs> Now your YouTube description is so important because it's a great opportunity for you to optimize your videos for search, which basically means that you increase the chances of your videos appearing when people are searching for content on YouTube. But also it's a prime opportunity for you to sell your video to your audience. People will read the description on videos before they click on them. A lot of people don't realize that when you search for videos on YouTube, you can see the description pop up on the search page. So it's important that we do not ignore the importance of the description section on your YouTube videos. Now you're in luck because the resource that I've linked to below which is completely free by HubSpot includes templates for all of the things that I just mentioned so you don't need to sit there and stress over how you actually implement all of the information that I just gave you you can just use the templates and you'll be able to do it seamlessly so I recommend checking out HubSpot's 18 YouTube templates for business via the link in my description it's completely free you don't want to miss out on it okay let's talk about a few different ways that you can monetize your YouTube shorts now I do feel like I need to address the elephant in the room here which is that I am not very well I don't know if you've picked up on that so far but I've got a bit of a cold and a cough so if I sound weird to you just don't worry I've not suddenly become a different person it's just the cold it's just getting out of my system okay so the first monetization strategy that I want to talk about is actually fairly new as of a few months ago really and that is the YouTube Shorts partner program now if you're not familiar with YouTube already YouTube has always had a partner program and essentially what that program is is their way of helping their creators earn money from their YouTube content now the part what's new is the YouTube Shorts Shorts partner program. Previously, the partner program was exclusive to creators who produce long form content like this video that you're watching. But now creators who share shorts can also earn money. Even if they don't share any long form videos, you can earn money from your, the YouTube Shorts partner program. So let's talk about how you actually join the program. In order for you to be legible to join the partner program, you need to have 1000 subscribers and 10 million YouTube Shorts views from the previous 90 days. Now, you might be thinking that sounds like a lot and I'm not gonna lie to you it's a fair amount of views for some of you you might be thinking easy for others you might be thinking hard I personally think that's quite difficult and that's a lot of views now the good news is is that you will also be able to get access to the YouTube Shorts partner program if you have joined their original partner program so to be eligible to join their original partner program you need 1,000 subscribers again but this time you need 4,000 watch hours so for some of you you might think that sounds easier 4,000 watch hours might sound easier to get than 90 million short views but for others you might see 4,000 watch hours as harder than 90 million short views it's completely dependent on you and your style of content the most important thing to note here though is that you do not need to share long form videos like the one that you're watching you don't need to share that in order to join the YouTube Shorts partner program and earn money from it you do however need to have at least 1,000 subscribers and 90 million views so let's talk about how the YouTube Shorts partner program actually works and how you earn money from it because it's a bit different from the original partner program and if you're not familiar with any of the partner programs then listen up because you're going to want to make sure you fully understand this before you get going okay so how it essentially works is that brands will pay to have their adverts played in between YouTube shorts so if you open up a YouTube short right now on your phone and you scroll through them eventually you will see an advert appear and that brand has paid to have their advert appear in between those shorts now the thing is is that when it comes to YouTube shorts an advert is not played in between every single video they just appear every now and again so when YouTube were trying to figure out a way for their shorts creators to earn money they were like okay how can we split the money that brands pay us to advertise in between shorts how do we split that with creators in a way that's fair and because these ads don't appear after every single video they had to figure out a way for them to pour all of the money that they were earning from these ads and divide it fairly in between the YouTube shorts creators so that is exactly what they did they created the YouTube Shorts creator pool and that is essentially when they pull all of the money that brands have spent to advertise on YouTube Shorts they put it into one pot on a monthly basis they then divide that money and allocate it out to all of the YouTube Shorts creators who have joined the partner program so they allocate this money out depending on the percentage of views that you have received that month so let's say you received 10% of the YouTube Shorts views that month which is a lot so well done it means that you will be allocated 10% of the money within the YouTube creator pool. So if there's $1,000 in that pool, you're going to get $100 from it. 
okay? So that's basically how it works. There's more complex areas to it as well. For example, if you've uploaded a short where you've got some music playing in the background, well then YouTube will split the money that you may have earned from that short in between you, the creator, but also the music licensor too, to ensure that you can continue to use music in your short form content. I don't want you to stress too much about that element though. The main thing to know is that all of the money that brands pay YouTube to advertise in between shorts is pulled together on a monthly basis and allocated out to YouTube shorts creators now there is one final step that you need to be aware of and that step regards how much money youtube will take from you when it comes to that money that you've been allocated so in the example that i gave you let's say there's a thousand dollars for the month of august in the youtube shorts creator pool amazing you got 10 percent of those views so you are being allocated 10 percent of that one thousand dollars that's 100 dollars quick math now the thing to note here is that you won't actually get paid that whole 100 dollars youtube will retain some of that money so at the time of filming the split between youtube and creators is 45 percent for a creator and 55 percent for youtube so in that example you will keep 45 percent of that 100 dollars which is 45 dollars and youtube will keep 50 55% which is $55 okay I'm so glad I picked a really easy equation for this <laughs> otherwise I would be struggling you will split the money that you have been allocated with YouTube and some might think that's unfair I personally think it's completely fair and it's the cost of business YouTube are providing the platform for us to earn money on and we are providing the content we therefore split that money not quite 50 50 but we're not far off we split the money with YouTube we get to keep some of it and then we both just go on our merry way and that is how you earn money from your YouTube Shorts through the partner program. Now, when it comes to the different monetization strategies, this one is an absolute no brainer. As and when you become eligible to earn money from the YouTube Shorts partner program, you should take up that opportunity. As it stands, it does not affect the performance of your Shorts. So it's not like you're going to suddenly not receive as many views on your content, right? Your content will still perform well. It doesn't impact your audience viewers experience. The biggest change is that you will start to earn money from it. So I really think this is an absolute no brainer when it comes to the different ways that you can monetize your YouTube shorts. Okay, so let's move on to the second monetization strategy. And that one is brand partnerships, which if you're familiar with my content, you're probably gonna guess that I was gonna mention this. If you don't know about what brand partnerships are, they're also sometimes referred to as sponsorships, but they're pretty similar things. It's essentially when a brand pays you to mention their product or their service in your YouTube short. Now, the thing to note about this, specifically when it comes to your YouTube Shorts, is that it's not always the easiest thing to navigate. And the reason why is because your YouTube Shorts, at the time of filming, they can only be 60 seconds long. Like, that's the maximum length for a YouTube Short, right? So when you only have 60 seconds to hook your audience in and share a piece of content that's really engaging, it's hard to think about how you can also include a promotion of a product or service within that time frame. So if you want to explore this monetization route, there are a few things for you to consider. The first is that when you are trying to promote a product or service within your YouTube short, make sure that you are wrapping that product or service in a piece of content which is still engaging. So if someone wanted to sponsor me today, I'm gonna, such a random example, if a radiator company came to me and was like, hey, I want you to talk about my radiators in your video, which would be so random and I probably wouldn't agree to it. I wouldn't say, okay, great, and then create a YouTube short where throughout the whole thing, I'm saying, these are some radiators. They heat my home up to this temperature. That's not interesting. My audience wouldn't like that. Instead, maybe what I would do is a 60 second tour of my living room. And within that tour, I will talk about the radiators and promote the radiators within it. So do you see how I've wrapped the product within a piece of engaging content? That is how you ensure that that content still performs well and is still super relevant and entertaining for your audience. Another thing to consider is that you might want to bundle your short with something else to make sure that you earn a decent income from the partnership. So a great example here is a YouTube community post. If you're not familiar with a YouTube community post, it's basically like Facebook on YouTube. <laughs> It allows you just to share updates and like share links and stuff like that. If you are negotiating with a brand to get a sponsored YouTube short, why not consider also offering a YouTube community post? Because that way you'll give the brand a bit more exposure, but also you'll be able to earn more money from that partnership. Especially for those of you who are just starting out with this monetization route, you might not be able to charge that much for your shorts just yet. If you bundle that with a YouTube community post, you can earn double the amount from that sponsorship. Last but certainly not least, if you decide that you are going to go ham on this monetization 
through and you're going to focus on how you can work with brands for your shorts when it comes to finding the right brands to pitch to because yes spoiler alert you will need to pitch them i will link to a video where i talk all about pitching up here when it comes to finding the right brands to pitch to make sure you're looking for brands who already work with short form content creators you can do this by looking at existing shorts looking at tiktoks looking at instagram reels from creators who are similar to you talk about a similar thing that you do and try and keep an eye out for any brands that they've worked with because this is a clear sign that whoever they've worked with values short form content not every brand does don't waste your time pitching to those who don't last but certainly not least this monetization strategy is perfect for creators who are completely new to youtube shorts and who have zero subscribers that's right you can earn money from your shorts with zero subscribers using this monetization strategy and the strategy is Dun, 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 dun. affiliate links if you're not familiar with what affiliate links are or what affiliate marketing is as a whole let me break it down for you affiliate marketing is essentially when you promote a brand's product or services and you earn a commission of that sale so let's say i am going to promote a ring light which is what i'm currently using so let's say i've got a link to my ring light in my description which spoiler alert i actually do have an affiliate link to my ring light in the description right so let's say you head down to that link and you buy the ring light that i'm currently using let's say you buy the ring light for 50 pounds and my commission is 10 percent. what that will mean is that i will earn five pounds again quick math i will earn five pounds from that sale now what's important to know about affiliate marketing and why it's so powerful is because it's a true win-win scenario the brand gets a sale and they wouldn't have gotten that sale if you didn't promote their product or service and you earn a commission from that sale but also there's a third party who wins from that and that is the customer and your audience they get to buy that product for the standard price they don't have to spend any additional money to purchase that product, but you get to still earn some money from it, right? So everyone wins, all three people win. The reason why affiliate marketing is such a good strategy for YouTube Shorts creators who have zero subscribers is down to the nature of YouTube Shorts and how it works. The beautiful thing about YouTube Shorts is that you could start sharing your shorts right now with zero subscribers and you could get a decent amount of views on them. The way the algorithm works is that it allows all creators from all sizes to actually get a decent amount of views from their content as long as their content is good and high quality so you could start posting your youtube shorts today and you could start getting a thousand two thousand views on those shorts now if you create a youtube short where you are mentioning a product or multiple products that you have affiliate links for that means that thousands of people might see your short and also might hear you talk about a product or service that you have an affiliate link for that also means that tens of people might click on that link out of those people a few of those people might actually buy that product or service and you'd have been able to do all of that with zero subscribers which means that you'll be able to earn money through a commission with zero subscribers on youtube that is why affiliate marketing is super super powerful okay i really hope you found that useful please let me know in the comments if you did if you feel like hanging around i recommend watching this video it is all about the top mistakes that content creators are making i really think it's important that you watch it so that you don't make the same mistakes don't forget to check out hubspot's free resource which includes 18 youtube templates for business that you definitely need to check out and get your hands on it is completely for free and it's available in the description below thank you so much for watching as always i can't wait to see you in my next video